All right, let's talk about the best Android tablets your Cheddar can buy. Now, right at the top of our list may surprise you, the Pixel C, a Google in-house built tablet that's made for productivity. While it may be a tad overpriced, the Pixel C does a lot right. It comes with a big 10.2 inch display, a 34.2 watt hour battery, and Android 6.0 Marshmallow, all powered by Nvidia's Tegra X1 processor and three gigabytes of RAM. There are quite a few different official accessories available for the tablet too, like the official keyboard or a folio keyboard. The Pixel C is a bit overpriced for what it offers, though it's still a great tablet if you have the extra money to spend. It's available from the Google Play Store starting at $499 US, with official accessories adding an extra $149 to your purchase. Now let's talk the Nexus 9. And while it is a little dated at this point, the Nexus 9 is still a great Android tablet. It was created by Google and built by HTC, which is basically an Android lover's dream. It runs the latest version of Android and will continue to receive timely software updates for another year or so. And the specs aren't bad either. It comes with an 8.9 inch display, an Nvidia Tegra K1 processor, either 16 or 32 gigabytes of onboard storage, a big 6700 milliamp hour battery, and weighs only 436 grams. Thanks to this device's specs, navigating around the device, switching applications, playing games, and streaming movies or videos is a breeze. It also has a nice soft touch material on the back, similar to the original Nexus 5. That makes this tablet easy to hold as well. Next up is the Samsung Galaxy Tab S2 8.0. The Samsung Galaxy Tab S 8.4 was one of our tablet choices of the past, and its successor is here to make an even better option. The Galaxy Tab S 8.0 comes with a smaller 8-inch display, which makes it more portable without sacrificing too much screen real estate. It's really only 5.6 millimeters thick and 265 grams in weight. Don't mistake this little guy for a lightweight though, it still has plenty of power to keep you going through all your tasks. For some of you, it may be a bit too similar to an iPad, but it's still a great Android tablet that many of you will enjoy. Now let's talk a perennial favorite, the Nvidia Shield Tablet K1. Did you like the original Shield Tablet? Well, you'll probably feel just the same about its direct successor. The specifications and design are pretty much the same with both tablets, aside from the addition of a rubberized surface next to the speakers and brushed metal lettering the back of the K1. Nvidia also removed the stylus holder on the K1, which brings us to our next point. The stylus is gone. So is the charging cable and wall adapter. The big news here is that Nvidia is trying to cut costs, and they did that by just not including a stylus or charger. With that being said, the tablet is now only 200 bucks, which makes it not only one of our best Android tablets here, but also one of the most affordable. Now let's talk the glamour option, the Sony Xperia Z4 tablet. This is a sleek, thin, and very attractive tablet offering from Sony. It comes with a 10.1 inch display, a Snapdragon 810 processor, three gigabytes of RAM, plenty of onboard storage, and a micro SD expansion slot up to 128 gigabytes. It comes with a big 6,000 milliamp hour battery that should be able to last quite a long time just on a single charge. It should be noted that while this tablet still runs Lollipop, Sony has plans to just skip 5.1.1 and roll out Android Marshmallow as soon as it is ready. Now let's talk about one of my favorites, the Dell Venue 8 7000. Now Dell may not be the first name that comes to mind when talking about great Android tablets, but the company really impressed us with the Venue 8 7000 series tablet. It's one of the thinnest tablets available right now, measuring just 6.1 millimeters thick. And you'd think that in order to make this tablet so thin, Dell would need to sacrifice on battery life. However, we can honestly say that the Venue 8 7000 is really great when it comes to battery consumption. Additional specs include an 8.4 inch OLED display, an Intel Atom processor, microSD expansion, and two really great cameras for taking quick shots. It also runs Android Lollipop, which may not be the latest version, but it is definitely a sizable step up from 5.0. It is a tad awkward to hold, but that's honestly one of the only downsides with this tablet. With an impressive performance and even better battery life, the 7000 manages to provide a lot without the premium price point that many might expect. And the last option you may not know that much about, it's called the Lenovo Yoga Tab 3 Pro. In an age where tablets are starting to get a bit boring, it's manufacturers like Lenovo that are trying to push us into new directions. The Yoga Tab 3 is unique much like some other Lenovo devices, but this one is really special. You see that hinge? Well, we've seen it before, but this time around, Lenovo added a full-blown projector and stand. It is truly a media powerhouse. Just look at those specs 
and see what I'm talking about. The Yoga Tab 3 is a tad expensive, but considering the big display, projector, built-in stand, this might be the right thing for you. Today, nearly anything is possible. If you can dream it, your team can build it. Makers of collaboration software that helps your team work better together. Create and share content, organize results with the flexibility of Confluence. They even have instant messaging and video chat with HipChat. You can also manage code in real time with the power of Bitbucket. Visit Atlassian.com and see how Jira, Confluence, HipChat, and Bitbucket can give your team everything they need to succeed. So what did I miss? Let me know what your favorite Android tablet is in the comments below.